Hello, hello, and welcome to Sanctified Nation with Shavariel, that is me. Uh, happy Thursday to you all, and may you all be safe. If this is your first time watching a video from Sanctified Nation, formerly known as a Mind Elevation Nation, I know I kept saying formally known. It's just so that you can get familiar uh, with this channel, but I won't be saying that too much more. Just want to let you know, this is Sanctified Nation now. And if this is your first time clicking on this video, thank you and welcome. And to the Sanctified Nation subscribers, thank you so much for being within uh, this family, being within a family, uh, so that we can live better, think better, do better, and treat each other with kindness and love and mercy. So that's what I have for you today. And peacefully. Be peaceful with your neighbor. So 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 yes, and gracefully. So I wanted to not I but a topic today is we everybody have have to be mindful, attentive, alert, conscious of our every word and all of our actions. Here's what I mean. So especially with those who love God, um, love the Lord God, we love the Lord God. It is to be in our walk, our speech, our actions. Since we say we love the Lord God and we follow him and all of our ways should represent him in his holiness and the Lord Jesus and the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. What I've come to find um, too many times now today, and some sometimes for myself, is that we do not take a thorough look at all of our behaviors. So we need to look at the inner person, the inner man, the inner woman, the inner child, to make sure that everything we do and say aligns with the word of God and also that we're representing his image. So I'll give you a few examples. When I was on Instagram, I was looking at a bishop and he had posted both he and his wife were working out. And I said, okay, that's cool. You know, bringing in the year, the new year, 2024. But then I look on the video, and if you know Instagram, it'll show you the video, but it won't play the audio or the music first. You have to tap on the video, then tap on the speaker so that the audio can play or the music can play. And when I saw what kind of music was attached to it, I was impaired. <laughs> I was impaired, both visually and flabbergasted a, a bit because he had now remember he he says he is a bishop and this was his wife so the video that they had and they were working out nothing inappropriate nothing that they're harming somebody uh with their workout routine they're just saying hey it's the new year we're we're going to be healthy and this is this is how we're doing it together as a married couple but the song that they had on there was from Sierra and Chris Brown, and it was titled How We Roll. So I am a, a, a inquisitive mind. So I looked up the lyrics. I never listened to the song. I look up the lyrics first. The lyrics will tell me that what I need to hear. And I looked at those lyrics. You talk about secular and damnation. Wasn't a good look. Wasn't a good look. So to anybody and everybody whom, whom you are saying that you love God, we have to show it. We have to show it in everything that we do. Why is it that we forget that in all of our ways, we acknowledge God? And when I say all, I mean me too. Me too. I am not uh, void of this conversation. But why is that? Like, out of all the songs that could have been chosen for that video, do we not want to choose, like, a gospel song, like, like He's Able, or Jesus is My Help, or I'm Not Tired Yet by the Mississippi Mass Choir? 
I'm not that that would have been a perfect song. So you guys need you guys need better PR and you need somebody to help you with posting. I could have told you that you need a song. OK, I'm not tired yet. Mississippi Choir. That would have been a perfect song for you working out because you say you're a bishop and that's your wife. But in any event, and that's another reason why there's so there are some churches, not churches, but the congregations of churches. We're not talking about the churches. The church of God is the church of God. It's just the congregations are collapsing because we're not we're not staying in his holy presence to be able to make wise decisions. There is no reason why any church should play any secular music. Not after all of the gospel musics that or gospel songs that we have in our word in our memory bank, even from when we were raised, if you were raised in the church. I mean, Hezekiah Walker, you have some of his songs. Youthful Praise, you have some of their songs. Dare I say Kurt Franklin, but you got to be careful on that. There's Yolanda Adams. I mean, there are so many beautiful gospel songs to where they even sing a scripture in the Bible, in the song. So you have all of those, those options, but sometimes people choose secular music to be in, to get likes, to get clout. No, that is not, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. And let me tell you, okay, here is my example. All right. Well, I have two more examples. The second example is even with my own brother, he posted a word of God on Instagram, but in his caption, he cursed. He swore. He said a curse word. And I, and I replied, did you just curse? And then post a word of God. He didn't reply back. I think he unfollowed me. <laughs> oh, well, I got to tell you, I got to tell it to you like it is. Did you just give a word of God and then curse? Profanity and holiness don't go together. Brother, get yourself together. Okay. Get yourself together. That's, that's example number two. Okay. Example t number three, me. There was, it was some time ago last year, I wanted to post on Instagram of me playing basketball because I was a basketball player and I love the game. And I was playing at the park by myself, playing basketball, and I wanted a song to go with it, something that, that I liked. And so I was looking and I almost posted that video with the song from MC Light and Escape. It's called Keep On. And if you're not familiar with that song, please don't please don't YouTube it or nothing like that. If you if you are curious about it, look up the lyrics first. And then that said, I don't I don't encourage you to go and listen to the song again because you have to watch what you hear, you have to watch what you see, and you have to watch what you say. But that was the song I was going to post. And I and at that time, still, I was saying I, I love the Lord God, but I was about to post that song. And then as I was listening to the song, when I found the song on Instagram to go with my video, and that was the, the unclean version. I was looking for the clean version, couldn't find it. I said, oh no, I'm not going to be able to do that. Like it makes sense. It made sense for me to like post the song in a clean version because I was playing basketball and the song was featured on a movie that I liked, which was Sunset Park. You know, to anybody that's like born in the 80s and 90s, they may remember that movie. That was like a cold movie. And I just it was it was good. And that was like what I wanted to do because I was playing basketball. But those lyrics, I lit I read it. I listened to it and I was like, oh no, I'm not going to be able to do it. So then I changed it. So I say that we have to be mindful at all times to what we post, to what we say, to what we think, to what we hear, and to what we see. So I'm going to give you a 
a scripture, according to the scripture in Ephesians chapter 4, Ephesians chapter 4, verse 29 through 32. And it reads, let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth. That includes cursing. But what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearers? If you Now, edification, it is defined as the instruction or improvement of a person morally or intellectually. So it is the instruction or improvement of a person morally or intellectually. Let's continue reading verse 30. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Verse 31. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Verse 32. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Yes. So, when we say things that are not holy, we are grieving the Holy Spirit. Gossiping, cursing, any lewdness of a conversation that's inappropriate sex talk. And if you are not married, it's called fornication talk. But if you're married, you're okay. But still, you have to keep it clean between you and your spouse when you're talking about being intimate. Okay, things like that. And what you see watching inappropriate videos on those platforms like OnlyFans and things of that nature that's grieving the Holy Spirit. Listening to secular music, we know any, any type of music that's not giving glory to God is not holy yes that includes jazz or classical or instrumental why because it's not giving glory to god and do we know if that person was under the holy spirit influence when making those instrumentals when making the movie scores when making the jazz music when making classical music when making r&b when making rock and roll when making pop when making heavy metal when making uh, country we don't know that and so that's why we have to be watchful mindful of what we see what we hear and what we speak so I give that to you may this find you all well and to touch on the the last verse 32 and be kind to one another just because you call each other out to be accountable it depends on how you do it it depends on how you do it but Again, if it is something unholy, well, it needs to be brought to the light and spoken about to say, hey, you know, you're getting beside yourself or hey, this not that's not the word of God. What does the word of God say? Not how you feel, not what you think, not what your intuition told you. What did the Holy Spirit tell you? Because you're using a bunch of eyes. I felt, I heard, I thought. Something told me, well, that something was the Holy Spirit telling you that going this route, posting inappropriate music with your lives or with your, with your activity or whatever it is that you attempting to show the world people is not it. That's not it. So be mindful, be mindful, please be attentive to the Holy Spirit and he will guide you. He will guide me. He will guide us into righteousness and truth. So that I give to you. May this find you well. We'll talk again soon. You all have a great evening.